the European Parliament voted for more information sharing to boost the protection of the EU's borders, tackle illegal migration and prevent crime and terrorism. MEPs urged Facebook and other social media to ensure that EU citizens' data is protected and not misused for political purposes. And MEPs debated the latest on Brexit following a summit of EU leaders on the 17th and 18th of October. Hello and welcome to our roundup of the European Parliament's latest plenary session here in Strasbourg. We begin with a law designed to improve information sharing in the Schengen area of the EU. The Parliament approved a law that will improve the Schengen Information System, SIS for short, which helps EU countries locate criminals, terrorists and stolen objects in countries belonging to the Schengen area. New alerts, including one to help prevent the abduction of children and the use of biometrics, are among the novelties in the law that will help protect EU citizens from crime and terrorism. EPP Group MEP Carlos Coelho, who is the Parliament's lead negotiator on the parts of the law relating to the police and border control, explained more. We have a lot of uh, uh, new features in the new regulation. For instance, the alerts on, on terrorism, I'm speaking about terrorism attacks and terrorism suspects, were not compulsory. That means member states could do the alert or not. Now they are compulsory. We had it new um, uh, biometric data. Uh, not only uh, fingerprints, but also DNA and facial image. That means the, the controls we can do will be uh, easier and uh, more performant. We will have uh, new checks. For instance, if you, we find fingerprints of someone unknown in a crime scene, we'll be able to check that in all uh, Europe through SIS. The updated law will also enable EU countries to alert each other about migrants illegally staying in the EU. EPP Group MEP Jeroen Lenaus is the Parliament's lead negotiator on the parts of this law relating to illegally staying persons. Well, the important thing is that at this moment only about 37% of illegal migrants who are refused asylum actually leave the European Union and we don't yet have any exchange of information between member states about these people. We need to step up our efforts in returning illegal migrants to their country of origin and informing the member states authorities about the return decisions that we make is a first big step towards that. Next, ensuring that the misuse of EU citizens' personal data is punished and that their data is not misused for political purposes. In early 2018, it was revealed that Cambridge Analytica had harvested the personal data of millions of people from their Facebook profiles without their consent and used it for political purposes. The Parliament wants to put a stop to this kind of behaviour and to help restore EU citizens' trust in how their data is looked after. MEPs approved a resolution with recommendations for Facebook and other social media. Axel Voss, the EPP Group spokesperson on this issue, explained that in the resolution, MEPs had the following main messages for EU citizens. Dass Datenmissbrauch geahndet wird, dass wir ähm, entsprechende Sanktionen verhängen werden, dass das neue Datenschutzrecht auch hier diese Möglichkeiten gibt und zum anderen, dass wir eine höhere Kontrolle auch einsetzen wollen, um den regen, rechtmäßigen Gebrauch von Daten auch entsprechend zu unterstützen. Mr. Voss also warned of the risk that people's data might be misused in the European Parliament elections next year. There is a risk in using personal data for misusing for political reasons. So there is a danger and this is very obvious. We have seen this already in other elections and the upcoming election might also be endangered by this subject. And so we have to be very um, aware of this situation that the use of personal data for political reasons might be an effect or influence the whole democratic system. And finally, the thorny issue of Brexit was raised during a Parliament debate about the recent EU summit in Brussels. With the UK due to leave the EU at the end of March 2019, time is running out to reach a deal. As things stand, provided that an EU-UK withdrawal agreement is ratified before 30th of March 2019, EU law will cease to apply to and in the UK on 1st of January 2021. This is known as the transition period. Its aim is to smooth the path towards a future UK-EU relationship. EU Council President Donald Tusk commented on an idea raised by the UK during the EU summit. 
Since Prime Minister May mentioned the idea of extending the transition period, let me repeat that if the UK decided that such an extension would be helpful to reach a deal, I am sure that the leaders would be ready to consider it positively. EPP Group MEP Elmer Brock put his finger on the main stumbling block in the Brexit negotiations. The entscheidende Punkt ist, dass Großbritannien es keine gemeinsame Position in der Regierung, in der Regierungsfraktion und im gesamten Parlament gibt und innerhalb der Opposition. Und das ist unsere Grundschwierigkeit. Das heißt, wir haben einen Partner, mit dem man nicht ernsthaft verhandeln kann, weil keine Struktur bei diesem Partner vorhanden ist. So that's it for the late October Strasbourg session. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in the European Parliament by checking out eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you next time.